Dear all, in this lecture video, I will be deriving an expression for setting time. As you know that settling time is one of the important time domain specification. One more important thing I would like to tell you. To get the previous lecture video on control system, please do visit the description box of this particular video. Then I will be putting all the previous video in that particular description box so that you can easily access. First of all, let us understand what do we mean by settling time. What is actually the setting time? Uh, it is the time required for the response to reach the steady state and stay within the specified tolerance band. That is about settling time. So what about the tolerance band? Typically, we are going to consider 2% and 5% are the tolerance band. Okay, so these are the commonly used tolerance band that is 2% either 2% or 5%. Uh, so this is regarding settling time. I, I would like to show you the setting time with the help of a second order response curve. As you can observe, this is the second order response curve typically for underdamped system. Uh, the y axis shows the response and the x axis is representing the time. Here you can able to see that when the at, at particular time ts, the response that is becoming uh, restricted in a particular tolerance band your response curve that will be restricted in a tolerance band. Normally, the tolerance band that is considered in between either 2% or 5%. Okay. The particular time, what is going to happen? Your response, that curve is restricted in that particular tolerance band. So this is regarding uh, settling time. For 2% tolerance band, you can able to write the final expression for settling time that is equal to 4 divided by zeta omega n, where omega n is called a natural frequency of oscillation, which is expressed in terms of radian per second, where zeta is the damping ratio. Now, I am going to derive this particular expression. First case, this is my first job. And the second case, for 5% tolerance band, the settling time expression can be written as 3 upon zeta omega n. So these two derive, these two expression I have to derive. That is the target for me. So this is regarding the settling time. Okay. Now let us straight away uh, move on to the derivation. How to derive an expression for settling time? As we know that we have the general formula for the response of second order and diamond system as shown below. That is C of t. That is the response. That is equal to one minus. Uh, e to the power minus zeta omega nt divided by square root of 1 minus zeta square into sine omega dt plus theta. Alright, here we can able to see that the second segment, this is your second segment, right? This, the second segment, it is having two components. The first component is called decaying exponential component. So this is actually the decaying exponential component. Clear? And also let us see that uh, the particular term sin omega dt plus theta that is called a sinusoidal component you have to bifurcate it, decaying component and sinusoidal component okay so that is the first job you need to know you need to do and also you have to understand what is the importance of uh, decaying exponential component and the importance of sinusoidal component that i am going to tell you actually the sinusoidal component that is going to create certain oscillations at the end, I have shown you a bit early that uh, in between 2% and 5% tolerance band, there are certain restrictions, there are certain oscillations. All right, that oscillation will be restricted for 2% and 5% that particular band. So, uh, as I, I would like to continue, sin omega dt plus theta, that is called a sinusoidal component, that is going to create certain oscillations, certain disturbance, or you can call certain oscillations. Okay. And what exponential component does? This exponential component that reduces that particular oscillations which is producing by sinusoidal component. Let me clarify once again. The sinusoidal component that produces oscillations, that particular oscillations which is producing by sinusoidal components, that is going to that, that is going to minimize with the help of a decaying component. Clear that tolerant that uh, oscillations which is producing by sinusoidal component that is going to minimize by decaying component, decaying exponential component. Same thing I have written over here. The exponential component reduces or you can call dampens the oscillations produced by sinusoidal component. Therefore, I would like to say that the settling time decided by the exponential component. 
the exponential component has the crucial role for deciding the settling time. So that is why I'm going to underline this particular component that is called exponential component. Okay, you have to consider exponential component for deciding the settling time. As I told you that there are two tolerance band, one is two percentage and another one will be uh, five percentage. Therefore, the settling time can be computed by equating the exponential component to percentage tolerance error. First in the foremost, I would like to consider the tolerance band for tolerance error that is equal to two percentage. Two percentage is nothing but 0 0.02. Now let us equate the exponential component to tolerance band. So this is your exponential component that is equal to tolerance band 0 0.02. It is very clear. Okay. Now for the very least value of zeta, we have to consider the least value of damping ratio because that oscillation will be reduced at the end, at the end of settling time, oscillation will be reduced to zero, the, not zero, nearby the value of zero. Therefore, I would like to consider zeta has very least value. For very least value of zeta, uh, the denominator term, what will happen for least value of zero? One minus, this will be almost zero, right? Almost zero, say 0 0.001. So that is nothing but square root of one, that is equal to one, correct? So denominator term becomes one, denominator. This is numerator and this will be denominator. Denominator term becomes one, that is very clear, okay? Therefore, what I'm going to do, the numerator term, only numerator term will be retaining e to the power minus zeta omega n ts. I'm going to put t is equal to ts, that is equal to 0 0.02. That means for least value of zeta, okay? e to the power minus zeta omega n ts, that is equal to 0 0.02. What I wanted to make out here, I need to separate the value of ts. How to separate the value of Ts? Do one thing, you have to take the natural logarithm on LHS and RHS to separate the value of Ts. I'm going to perform the same thing here. That means uh, lan, lan means natural logarithm, e to the power minus zeta omega and Ts equal to lan of 0 0.02. So you know the formula, lan e to the power x equal to x. Same thing will be applied over here. Lan e to the power minus zeta omega and Ts is nothing but minus zeta omega and Ts. And also lan, 0 0.02 that is equal to minus 1. Okay, so this is the this value you can able to compute with the help of Calci also. Very simple. Okay, therefore zeta omega and Ts equal to 4. From this expression I would like to separate the value of Ts. That is my ultimate goal. Ts equal to 4 by zeta omega. N. Finally, the settling time for the tolerance band for 2 percentage that is equal to 4 upon zeta omega. N. This is one of the important expressions for the tolerance band 2 percentage. For 2 percentage error, this is your settling time, 4 by zeta omega. N. Clear? So damping ratio zeta, we are going to consider as almost 0, but not exactly 0, very less value. Clear? And also I would like to work out for the tolerance band 5 percentage. For tolerance band 5 percentage, what is the value of settling time? So that I wanted to compute. Here, settling time t is equal to ts. I'll be putting instead of t, I'll be using ts because I would like to calculate the settling time. So you have to concentrate only the exponential term e to the power minus zeta omega and ts by square root of 1 minus zeta square equal to 0 0.05. As you know that square root of 1 minus zeta square, that is approximately equal to 1. Therefore, I am pay, I'll be considering e to the power minus zeta omega and ts, that is equal to 0 0.05. I would like to separate the value of ts. Therefore, I need to calculate the, I need to apply the natural logarithm on LHS and RHS side of the equation 4. Same thing I am going to perform. So, I would like to recall the rule of e to the ln e to the power x, that is equal to x. Same thing I am going to write over here, that is equal to minus Clear? So afterwards, what I have to do? What I have to do is, I need to cancel that particular negative symbol at LHS and RHS. Clear? That is also very easily you can understand. Okay? So after cancelling minus term, only positive terms are retaining minus zeta omega and Ts equal to 3. Finally, Ts equal to 3 divided by zeta omega. For Settling time for 5 percentage of tolerance band that is, is equal to uh, Ts equal to 3 upon zeta omega. N. You have to bifurcate for 2 percentage tolerance band what is the value of settling time and for 5 percentage tolerance band what is the value of settling time. Okay, that you have to bifurcate separately. So this is the expression for uh, settling time. As far as the settling time concerned, the exponential time has crucial role here. 
So I'm going to equate the exponential term that is equal to tolerance band. First, I have equated the exponential term equal to two percentage. Okay, from this, I could compute the value of TS, clear? Afterwards, I have considered 5% tolerance band. From that, I could compute the value of TS. Same thing I have done, and I could reach the final expression. In the upcoming session, I'll be dealing with a lot of numerical examples based on time domain specification. Suppose if you're having any confusion, you can put up in the comment box. Let me clarify. Finally, thank you very much for watching this video.